Ever wondered if your chocolate addiction could actually be a sign of genius? Get ready, chocolate lovers, because we're diving into a correlation so sweet, it might just blow your mind. Could that bar of chocolate be the key to unlocking your inner Nobel laureate? Imagine this, scientists looked at countries around the world. They compared how much chocolate people ate per year with how many Nobel Prizes that country had won. And guess what? They found a surprisingly strong link. Countries that munched on more chocolate per person seem to have significantly more Nobel Prize winners per capita. It's a pattern that makes you pause and grab another square, isn't it? When you look at the data, one country stands out in both categories, Switzerland. Famous for its incredible chocolate, Switzerland also boasts an impressive number of Nobel laureates relative to its population. But they aren't alone. Other countries with high chocolate consumption, like Sweden and Denmark, also rank high on the Nobel list. It's almost like a delicious leaderboard of brilliance. Now, before you start stocking up on bulk chocolate for your next big exam or project, let's pump the brakes slightly. This is where the science gets a little less straightforward and a lot more interesting. Just because two things happen together doesn't mean one causes the other. This is the classic correlation versus causation puzzle. Think about it, ice cream sales go up in the summer, and so do shark attacks. Does eating ice cream cause shark attacks? Probably not. While we can't definitively say chocolate makes you win Nobel Prizes, the correlation is intriguing enough to make scientists curious. They started looking for potential biological links. One leading theory focuses on compounds found in cocoa called flavonoids. These are natural plant pigments that have antioxidant properties. They're found in many fruits and vegetables, but cocoa beans are particularly rich in certain types. Some research suggests that these cocoa flavonoids might have positive effects on brain function. They could potentially improve blood flow to the brain, which is crucial for cognitive performance. Better blood flow means more oxygen and nutrients reaching those precious brain cells. This could theoretically enhance memory, focus, and overall cognitive abilities. It's like giving your brain a little supercharge. Of course, it's highly unlikely that chocolate consumption is the sole reason for a country's Nobel success. Many other factors play significant roles. Wealth, access to high-quality education, investment in research and development, cultural values that encourage intellectual pursuits, these are all major contributors to a nation's scientific and academic achievements. Richer countries often consume more luxury goods like chocolate. They also tend to have better education systems and more funding for research. So, the correlation might simply reflect that wealthier nations can afford more chocolate and have the resources to produce more Nobel-worthy work. It's a complex web of factors. Regardless of the definitive scientific proof, the idea that chocolate might boost your brain power is a delightful one. It gives us another fun reason to enjoy our favorite treat. It turns eating chocolate a little less like a guilty pleasure and a little more like, well, maybe not a study session, but definitely a brain-friendly activity. Just remember, moderation is still key. Beyond the potential cognitive benefits, chocolate has other positive effects. Eating chocolate can release endorphins, those feel-good chemicals in your brain. It's a source of comfort, a social lubricant, and a simple pleasure that brings joy to millions. Maybe the happiness and reduced stress from enjoying chocolate also contribute to a more creative and productive mind? If you're looking for the highest concentration of those potentially beneficial flavonoids, dark chocolate is generally your best bet. The higher the cocoa content, the more flavonoids it typically contains. So, while milk chocolate and white chocolate are delicious, the real brain boost potential seems to lie in the darker varieties. Time to embrace the bittersweet side of life. So, does chocolate win Nobel Prizes? Probably not directly. But the intriguing correlation and the potential benefits of cocoa flavonoids are certainly food for thought and for your brain. It's a fun reminder that sometimes, the things we enjoy might have hidden depths. And it gives us a fantastic excuse to celebrate the delicious connection between chocolate and human achievement. Is this correlation just a coincidence, or is there something more to the chocolate brain link? 
We want to hear your thoughts. Hit that like button if you found this intriguing. Share this video with your fellow chocolate loving friends. And most importantly, leave a comment below telling us your favorite type of chocolate and if you think it makes you smarter.